Hi, this is a video overview of the Kata i3s cell phone. Comes very nicely packaged. Everything is well protected. Just a really top-notch job uh, getting it into the box. Comes with a phone, earbuds, uh, power plug for the USB cord and the USB cord for both charging it and uh, data transfer. For the phone itself, uh, my opinion, very nicely made, nice design. It has glass from top to bottom on the front face. Uh, has metal on both sides here uh, with the regular buttons, at least buttons I'm used to for volume up and down, power on. It's got a really nice screen. Uh, I've been using a Galaxy S3 for about two and a half years now. This screen isn't quite as good. This video exaggerates how much the screen dims when you get off axis. It really isn't bad at all. Uh, I've used other phones that I didn't think were as impressive, like the Nexus 4, which I thought was a pretty poor display. This one, uh, I've been impressed with. I, I really like it. It's nice and bright. I have it on auto brightness right now. Performance is quick. Uh, everything that I've done has been plenty fast for me. I haven't noticed any lag. I uh, don't find myself waiting for things to happen. Uh, you have your, well, it's got a camera here on the front. You can see the, the speaker there. The mic, I believe, is this small slit right here. On the back, you have your camera, your flash, and then the speakerphone speaker right there. Now, the back of it is a plastic backing. Uh, other people have remarked that it feels kind of cheap, but I have a, get, like I mentioned, Galaxy S3. It also has a plastic back. Uh, this is very similar, and it pops off pretty easily. It's got a little tab right here where you can get your finger in, start popping it off, and then you just work your way around uh, to pull it off. Taking my time, because I'm generally fairly careful with my phones. Uh, but you just work your way around, get all those tabs off, and you could probably just pull it right off. But So there it goes. Uh, again, just a thin plastic back. It doesn't really feel flimsy, in my opinion. It feels very much like the S3. On the inside, you have the, the battery here. Uh, this is a micro SIM card. Regular SIM would fit. If I took the battery out, you could see it fit in there. Uh, so it, yeah, it's a dual SIM. I uh, forgot to mention that. So it's very easy to get to the insides. Again, you just pull this right off and then you pop it right back on. So I'm still getting used to this, so it takes me a little while to get all the tabs put back on just right. But um, anyway, it's uh, really easy to do. And it's, as far as I can tell, very solid too. I've, I've never felt like I was going to break one of the clips off while I was doing it. Uh, anything like that. Uh, in terms of the design, you can tell it's, it's more squarish like a lot of phones are these days. Um, but yeah, that, that's the hardware in a nutshell. And just to show off the video camera performance of this, uh, so I took a, just a video clip walking the pooch earlier today, walking around one of the hiking trails here. Uh, sorry, my hand got in the way of the camera there, but I, I know it's difficult to tell video quality when you're looking at a video of a video on Amazon. Uh, but overall, I was really happy uh, with how well it turned out. It looks great on the screen. Uh, here's just the video clips. I like this part, at least of Android. Uh, here's some pictures that I took of Nikki. Uh, but in the preview, it'll show you the movies playing. So I was happy with the performance of that. Um, going to the home screen there. Uh, anyway, just wanted to show that off. And uh, again, overall, I've been really happy, really impressed by this phone. Uh, for $150, uh, it has exceeded my expectations. So, well, happy shopping, and uh, I recommend that you give this some consideration. All right, thanks a lot for watching. I'd also like to show a quick comparison between the i3s and a Samsung Galaxy S3. I've had this for about two and a half years, and a reason I'm showing you this is that this is $150. And these are going unlocked for a little over $200 right now, so you may be shopping for both at the same time. Uh, they're more similar than they are different. Uh, the screens are very similar. You can see here both are uh, fingerprint magnets. Um, in terms of screen size, they're the same width. The i3s is a little bit taller. Uh, screen, screen quality, it's exaggerated by this video that this gets dimmer off axis like that. Uh, but the S3 is slightly better, but they're both very good screens in my opinion. Uh, they're both quick uh, phones. They have about the same speed uh, as far as I can tell. The backs are both plastic. So I've heard it mentioned before that the plastic back, some people think it feels cheap. That's what I thought of the S3 when I first got it. Uh, but it turns out I love it. 
Um, it's virtually carefree. It's held up great. It comes off very easily. Uh, same for this one. You can get to the battery, SIM card, memory card slot. Uh, I really like the plastic back. I, I think it's a nice touch, so I have no problem with that at all. The big difference between them, or difference is, is that this is a 4G phone and this is a 3G phone. So this has something called H+, which I'm not that familiar with. Uh, but when I do downloads on this, I get about 9 to 10 megabits per second. Uh, and this one gives me about 30 to 35. So this one's a little bit faster. Also, this one has a physical home button. So they, they both have capacitive buttons on the sides. This one has a physical home button, so you can turn the phone on with this if you want. Uh, but other than that, they are very similar phones. Uh, this one, uh, I was surprised at how well it compares to the S3, which has been a, a just a great phone in my opinion. So just wanted to show that off because you may be shopping for both uh, because the, they're fairly close in, in price. If you want 4G, uh, don't go with this one, but if 3G is fast enough for you, uh, this is an excellent choice and it uh, saves you some money.